Okay, I'm ready. Helmet moves upstairs. Okay. Too fast for y'all. Thousand feet. Let's get the uh, go to on and the visors down. <coughs> green, a <coughs> green apples. Yep, green apples pulled. Flap belt on. Okay, uh, Tom, you down there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, you can go ahead and vent the handle. Vent the cabin. Tom, we could, uh, we could, the only thing I was concerned about is you break a box all the time. That, that's all. But if you okay, can, no, that's, that's doable as long as you know that's why I'm not answering you real quick. Okay. No, that's, that's no it looks like that one, but I that one too. is also a single lens reflex, which is a little unusual for motion picture. Most of the time, you look through a separate finder, and it does all its things for its own reason. This is professional quality motion picture stuff here. Most of the stuff in the malfunctions is not malfunctions at all. It's operator error. Um, the 16 that? camera does break. And she knows it, it, it breaks more often <laughs> than anything else on orbit. But most everything. camera has the capability to record data. Now the, the meter focuses at a different point than the crosshairs, Yeah, someone right? said that to me before. You just get the, the screen crosshairs as close what you as want. you can get. Okay. The meter needle is probably slightly closer or further away. I don't know yeah. which one it is. It's closer. <laughs> well, I was going to say it's further. That's part of your, part of your depth perception test. So you just want to see if you're paying attention. I guess it's your left eye, right? Which eye? Left? Right eye is usually. I think only your right eye works. Your left one can't see anything. <laughs> so if you put it on this side, then your left eye That's will work. That's focus for you? 
No, I fixed it for you. Now, what? Yeah, that's focus for me, huh? This isn't marked in tick marks or anything. So you just kind of have to adjust it. And so cinch it down. Then. Yeah, and it will change when you get on orbit. We are in the off position. No metering, no drive. Okay? When we go to standby, we now have metering. Now, you know, you saw the meter needle in there. It's now activated. It'll go underexposed or overexposed. And if someone has a dime, or something that becomes flight a dime, uh, open carry one on the hustle blind. That's correct. Yeah, Penny, I'll do. Open this up. There are two fuses there. And now there are three fuses there. <laughs> There's several fuses floating around down at the bottom here. See those? Nice. You pick them out with your fingernails, and if you get your fingernails like me, you just... We don't have anybody on our crew that has fingernails yeah, like that. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do that. I'll now, start drawing them, but... The uh, are we, there's two... How do I know... You have numbers. to read them. See, that says 10. We're talking real eye test. Um, okay. In the IFM locker, there's a magnifier. Not very That's good, okay. but there's one. Well, These what about are tweezers or something? To be do we have anything like IFM that? IFM locker. Okay. These are supposed to be bent so they won't exactly just fall out. There we go. That's fixed. Let's fix this one. Now we'll see if we can't put that one back in without having another fuse floating around at the bottom of this camera. You think you need the dining handle, huh? Oh, yeah, I think you can do it without it if you're real, if you're, uh, Give it a shot. An animal, okay. Let me, let me go through things. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, check the line. Risk disconnection. Connect by a man to the left. Okay. Now, and then if you have any problems, you've got a sister. Okay. 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 Okay.
sleeping on the side of your head, do you strap it on sideways? <laughs> Whatever. Whatever tickles your fancy. Um, the second thing that we have is this dark blue kind of uh, padding back here. And the reason for the padding is so that it will, in case you're, when you're sleeping at night, if you're bumping into things, that it's more of a softer blow for you. You don't wake up all bruised. You can either sleep with your hands floating out, or you can tuck your, your hands more to your chest so that you can be sleeping like that. We have two restraints. These restraints can be removed and repositioned anywhere along the bag that you would like them to be repositioned. This is good for a couple of reasons. Um, to relieve the lower back strain, if you'll bring your, your knees more up towards your chest, also, and restrain them by using these restraints. You can, you will release some of the lower back pain. How do you do that? You mean like put yourself inside the bag and then strap your knees up? Yeah, you put your, your, climb into your sleeping bag, but just raise your knees towards your chest and make sure that this is restrained around where it holds your knees in place a little bit more. Oh. So it holds you more into a little bit of a tuck position. Huh. Um, also, what's really good is on the first couple of days in flight, if you're not feeling very good, if you get yourself more into the fetal pot position, you, you tend to feel a lot better. And this, these restraints can help you do that. Also, basically, for like your malfunctions, so if you're sustained, if it's enough, they really still down here. The CDR has its own private state room back here, I see. Yeah. All the rest of us have to share this with you. It's own private restraint. Well, you know, yeah. uh, rank has yeah. its privilege this, this is the captain's cabin over here. That's right. stabilized products to go back to them they are basically ready to eat no water has to be added to them you can heat them and then eat them right out of the package of the can uh, when you see an NF like on the next page that means natural form that would be things like cookies candies nuts um, those type of items and then this is the vanilla instant breakfast is this but, is this a test we're doing here is this no a, I mean it's a real flight food okay. but I didn't figure you wanted to drink four or Everything five containers of Right, yeah, anything um, can come in there except for the hot beverages right now. But like you said, for your flight, we're hoping to have hot beverages. What keeps the, the liquid from backing out of this thing? There's a little septum in there. It's the same septum that's in the regular package. Somebody got my... Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Good, cra good cracker. I can hear my dog barking. Put your chase on your last <laughs> This is not one of my <laughs> more favorite things. <laughs> Didn't we used to have a real sliced beef instead of this brick thing? That's so 
something we can question because this is the first time I've seen this since I've been here. It used to be more of a shredded beef. It was didn't a shredded beef. Yeah, it was really good. This thing, uh, we when I I've opened this thing before and it it just you know we get this brick like appearance and somehow it it, it, it just it, yeah you know it went, whereas if it's shredded and it's in the sauce it seems to have a better taste to it. We were discussing that the other day and I think they used to make a five ounce and I think that's how it looks when it's a five ounce and we've gone to all eight ounces. I'm sure it's personal pre personal preference, but it's uh, somehow it tastes better when it was shredded. In fact, I, this is uh, <laughs> this is the same as the MRE that the military uses, right? Yeah, I think it used to be called shredded beef with the uh, tropical parts. No, that's instant breakfast. Yeah. And that's the nice. No, that's <laughs> tastes like. This is one half of the Wiggles grill sauce. Oh yeah, this is the old ham slab. Mm. This is a little hot sauce and some eggs. That's pretty good. Now you, you see, if you put this with, mushroom. if you could put this with some of that cheese spread, it wouldn't that. be bad. I that. Mm. Yeah. That'd be good. We put cheese in too. Yeah. You take this and cheese spread and a big old eggs. tortilla. <clears throat> this was real salty, if I remember. Yeah, yeah. Brick. Yeah. I'll tell you, you don't appreciate these until you're in Korea in the middle of the winter living in a tent. Mm -hmm. And you can throw one of these in boiling water and have a hot meal. See, the problem with, the problem with our office is there aren't too many people that have lived in Korea that ate these in a tent. <laughs>